Hey guys, it's the Bearded Bri Piper here on a Monday evening around 8.06. Um, I'm outside right now because it is nice out. I mean, it's probably in the upper mid 70s and yeah, mid 70s. Uh, but man, it was nice all day. I mean, it's still overcast now, but uh, you can't beat it. We had a small little shower, but it was still warm out, and I ain't gonna complain. But anyhow, uh, I'm gonna be smoking some um, just for him morning coffee in my Mr. Brog Viking pipe this evening, and uh, I'm gonna get this lit right here, and we might go take a little walk or something. Let's get this lit. Right now, I just felt a, a sprinkle, and uh, I hope it don't start raining right now. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> that one got me a little bit. Hopefully you're all's evening and day has been good to you. Because mine, I know, was good just overall because of the awesome weather. And I was just happy enough for the weather. You know, I was just happy it was warm. Uh, yeah, but I mean overall my day at work was pretty uh, Pretty smooth. I'm um, I did mostly uh, palletizing an oven I uh, um, Sorry about that had to get this relit there. No, mostly today though I uh, worked on palletizing a big old uh, what they call rota ro rotating oven or tray oven if you want to be technical. But yeah, uh, we had all our doors open today which was a probably good thing because today we had a little accident uh, we had a little chemical spill and uh, stunk up the whole warehouse so we had to air it all out and uh, well what happened was a uh, muric acid uh, fell and poured over the um, cement floor and uh, you know if you ever dealt with muric acid or any of that I mean, it, it gets exposed to any foreign material of any kind it uh, uh, starts to smoke chemically and stinks like sulfur, rotten eggs. And uh, yeah, so I try to stay clear of that. Man, it stunk. I mean. Shoot, I walked a long ways away in the warehouse and it was still reaching back there. So we had to turn all our big vents on, exhaust fans, I mean. And uh, get that place aired out because it was just awful, the smell. I guess that's about the only bad thing to happen today. Uh, By the way, <laughs> most of my videos are done right up there on that little tiny balcony. Yeah. Big old guy like me up there 
on that thing. It's pretty humorous, I bet, for the people driving by, seeing a guy my size up on a tiny little balcony like that. So the other night uh, when I was doing a video, I think it was my video for uh, um, Chocolate Silk. Um, that was my neighbor that banged on the window at me. And uh, I guess I was getting a little too loud. I didn't realize. I have hard of hearing anyway. I'm supposed to get uh, hearing aids eventually and uh, so that will help me hear a lot better I can't compensate how loud I am so uh, I apologized to him the other day and he said it was fine just don't be loud I told him the whole situation he was kind of stubborn anyway but Anyhow, I, it was a mistake. Uh, I'm only human, so. That is the reason I am having all these surgeries is due to the fact I have horrible hearing, horrible hear ears problems, and yeah. Anyhow, I'm supposed to get hearing aids. Uh, I'm talking to the people right now, um, but uh, hearing aids are ridiculously expensive. Uh, I think one hearing aid alone, they priced it, uh, gave me the price of, uh, shoot, what was it? $2,000, I think. something ridiculous I just blew my mind I'm like oh I knew they were expensive but I didn't have a clue that they were that expensive and that's just for one so I'm kind of going through the, the process of getting them uh, eventually I will get my hearing aids that I need and uh, they'll help me hear a lot better I went to my local uh, tobacco shop um, that I go and buy cigars and some pipe tobacco. And I happened to purchase a couple more cigars that I plan on smoking in some of my videos for y'all. And I purchased. Uh, um, uh, a new lighter also so yeah. enough purchases purchases for me for now on uh, but anyhow that lights a little bright part of that uh, I went down there though and I bought a couple of cigars I think I bought five um, and I'll pipe my post a picture of them on Instagram and uh, show you all what I purchased. Had some Chinese dinner for uh, had some Chinese for dinner, I should say. And uh, it's kind of giving me heartburn. Uh, I asked for the extra spicy and. I got my extra spicy all right, and now I'm regretting it because uh, heartburn, heartburn Sadie. But yeah, I think tomorrow is gonna be even a more awesome day. I think it's still supposed to get up to the lower, oh, I think 80 something tomorrow. But there's still chances of rain and all that, so. As long as it's warm and I can do this, what I'm doing right now, it's a plus, I'm telling you. And uh, talk to the outdoors dude, my friend, 
uh, about upcoming uh, camping trips we might take. We're still kind of planning stuff, so anyhow. Uh, I'm going to cut this video off just real fast, guys, and I'll come right back. Uh, I promise. I'm back. And, uh, sorry about that, y'all. Uh, had to run inside real fast. I uh, heard something going off in my apartment, and I wasn't for sure what it was. Until I got in there and I found out it was my, uh, radio in my room. Somehow, uh, the alarm was set and had been going off. I thought, what the heck is that, so... Yeah. Uh, last night I was uh, sitting on my couch uh, looking at some pipes and uh, looked at some tents, a new tent, and also was looking at some fishing poles that uh, I need to sometime buy. But, like I said, some of that stuff's just gonna wait for a little bit, so. Tell you what, I got a haircut though the other day, which I mentioned in my other video. And you all can obviously probably tell I got a haircut. But it's awesome because it's nice and cooler. Typically, uh, during the winter time, um, I'll grow my hair out on my head just for keeping me warm because I'm I do a lot of my outdoor stuff in the winter also, such as trapping, hunting, um, going out, and you know everyday life anyway in the cold. So, so I uh, got a haircut now is warming up and it feels good funny story though with my haircut typically when I go get a haircut I just go get my haircut and they wash your hair of course there um, but this happened to me uh, never has happened to me before. I went to a new haircut facility called Sports Clips and never been there. Was gonna try it out. Showed up, set my appointment up. They got me in. Really nice uh, young lady did my uh, my haircut and uh, hold on one second. Anyway. She started doing my haircut and asked me what I wanted, so I told her. Well, after a while, she was finished, and she's like, okay, uh, step back here, and we're going to wash your hair. Uh, so I'm like, okay. Walked back there and sat down in the chair, uh, got all relaxed, you know, situated and all that. Next thing I know is the lights dimmed. I was laying there, kind of looking around. Next thing I know, a really warm, hot towel was laid on my face. Just, no, just did it. And I'm like, whoa, what the heck is going on? Never had this done in my life. I've heard of it before. I don't know what they call them. Anyway, they put the warm towel on my face. And, uh, <laughs> and then I jumped because the chair started vibrating. It was a massaging chair. And she's like, oh, just relax. She's like, uh you're gonna you're getting a uh, scalp massage and uh, like a full body uh, in my whole full back side of me was getting massaged by this chair um, and then she put some like lotion over my my uh, face and my forehead and on my scalp that was like really minty 
a fresh feeling so it took me off guard I was like wow and uh, it wasn't too bad in price for what I got I guess so I think I made her day though also because she kind of laughed at me when I was uh, sitting there with a towel over my face trying to talk and it was all muffled I'm like oh whoa what's going on and she's like just relax we're doing a massage thingy so I was like okay whatever and uh, it actually felt good I almost fell asleep so I ain't gonna complain Well guys, I think I'm going to cut this video off. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening and tomorrow if you're watching this video. Uh, it's the Beard of Bride Piper here. And remember, hey, smoke your pipe and your cigars. I'll be back probably tomorrow and have a good one.